Dory. So we uh, we were getting revenge for, for someone on Twitter posting spoilers to Star Wars. Of course. We got a big group together and everybody had to be home before 12 o'clock because of curfew. Part number one why this goes wrong. Number two, we get to the house and ready to wrap them and we park on a cul-de-sac. Not like a street to just get out quick. So we're in the middle of like wrapping the house. We're doing a good job. Too. Oh yeah, a great job. <laughs> like we, we even like wrote out with toilet paper for Han. The neighbors are coming out like looking at us and going back inside. We're like, okay, it's like 11 o'clock. Like, I feel like Tent. that's a good sign that you should leave, but y'all just kept going. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't they were like, hey, what are you doing? They were like, so then lights turn on or something or someone comes out. Everybody hops in the cars and we start to drive. Person's mom comes out and stands in front of the cars and like, stop. She started banging on Cody's door. While this is happening, while she's like talking to Cody and stuff, I'm like, Austin. Run, get out of the car and run. There's a field that way, just Save go and yourself. run. There's other people that are with us that escaped and just hung out outside my house. <laughs> but yeah, so she's like, you're gonna clean this up, aren't you? So we part, we start cleaning up. It was so weird and like so awkward because like they were watching us and the, the kids were watching us and like, ha ha ha, and putting us on their Snapchat stories. I remember seeing some of those. Yeah. The brother gets uh, like a hedge trimmer. A hedge trimmer. Gives it to Austin, he's like, trim our hedges. I'm like, Austin, don't do it. Austin starts trimming the hedges. <laughs> yeah, I did a good job. I did a good job. I don't know where y'all I found my passion. Of, so. no. You found your calling. Yeah. <laughs> so across the across the street, neighbors come out, and they're like, oh, we saw you doing this. We texted them, and then she was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there was, a, there was a girl with you guys. Cody was like, oh, so-and-so, uh, he's pretty short and kind of like feminine. Maybe you've mistaken him as a girl. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw a girl with long hair and we're like, we have no clue what you're talking which, about. Which context, the girl with long hair was one of the people that ran. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what girl? So y'all literally TP'd someone's house and then cleaned it up immediately after. Oh, and also this was my ex-girlfriend, so. Okay, so to set up the scene. Sophomore year, your boy decided to ask a girl who was a junior to homecoming. She said yes, and we were kind of talking and whatnot. We were like kind of a thing, you know, kind of a thing. And then she started kind of talking to this other guy, which was weird, but I was like, you know what, whatever, man. I'll just have like a good time at homecoming, it'll be chill. And so then, um, week of like the game, which would be on Friday, and the dance, which would be on Saturday. I was like, so we're going to the game, right? And she was like, uh, no. And I was like, uh, what? And she was like, uh, no. And I was like, okay. And then she was just really rude about that. It was whatever. I was just like, all right. I'm done. So then my brother comes in town and we're like, you know what? Let's go see a movie on that Friday, the Friday of the game. Cause I didn't want to go to the game. Like I'm, I'm not a big football guy, but if you have a date, you take her to the game. So me and my brother decide to see Gone Girl. Great movie. And we go to the theater park and we start walking and I see the guy who she had started to talk to's car. And I was like, oh cool. I guess he's seeing a movie too. Cause I was kind of friends with them. So then me and my brother go up to the ticket booth to get our tickets. And sure enough, it's my homecoming date and that guy on a date about oh. to see a movie. It was literally terrible. My brother was, I haven't seen him so close to finding someone, but yeah. And then I still had to take her to homecoming the next day. And I still had to pay for her ticket. They, they didn't even know that I knew, but Gone Girl was such a great movie that I forgot about all of it. So In seventh grade, my teacher um, gave birth, like at the beginning of the school year. So we had like a long-term sub. And one day, she didn't know what to do with us, so she told us to read, because you know, it's like an English class. No one else read but me. And the book I was reading was like, not sexually explicit, but there was parts of it that were. And I was reading one of those parts in class, and the teacher was so proud of me for reading that she decided to point out to the whole class that I was reading. Then was like, this is what she's reading right now. I'm gonna motivate you guys to read. And she started reading that part, but she didn't stop. She kept going. She didn't stop until it was like, his hand started climbing up my leg. Oh my, like something was, it was really, really bad. And everyone was staring at me and I was like, I'm mortified. Okay. 
It was in kindergarten. I was not very good at being alone. There were some things that I didn't exactly do like everyone else. Like if I had to go to the bathroom, I, I would just sit there until I like absolutely had to go to the bathroom. That got me into a few troubles, like this story. So, be me, it's kindergarten. We're playing some really good games on the computer. And I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta pee really bad. And I'm like, but, 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 the games. And so I'm like, you know what? I'll stick it out until I finish the game. And I, I distinctly remember it was one of those popping games that you played and you typed in the number. If it's two plus two, it's four. So shoot the things that have four on them. Was that okay. the alien game? I think so. Oh, that game's so cool. <laughs> and so I never exactly got the chance to finish the game because right as I typed in four plus four is equal to eight, P everywhere, all over the seat and onto some poor girl's leg. Madison, rest her soul, she's in Chicago. She had to move away from me because you're so gross. <laughs> she moved away in first grade. I peed everywhere and the teacher was like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Do you have any other pants? I'm like, no, I don't have any other pants. I don't bag pants. She's like, oh shoot. Does anybody in the class have pants? And some, and some really, really fat kid was like, yeah, I got some pants. And he pulls up some pants, they're like, and I was anorexic, like I didn't eat. And they're like, they're like the pants I'm wearing right now. These are like 32s. And he's like, here you go, bud. I'm like, oh no. And she's like, go change the bathroom. It's okay. Nobody's gonna make fun of you for it. I'm like, and I go to the bathroom, I put them on. I keep on rolling down the waistband until they're above my knee and they actually fit. And I stuck it out through the rest of the day smelling like pee. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. So basically, any story where any boy meets my dad is extremely awkward. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with the one in Mexico. So we were vacationing in Cancun, and me I met this girl there, Hannah, and then we were we met these guys on the beach, and we were just hanging out with these guys, you know, just chilling. Me and Hannah went to the bathroom, and when we come back, my dad's there talking to them, and we had told these guys we were like a year older because they were like older than us and my dad tells the guys how old I am asks every single one of them how old they are basically it was just really awkward and I just wanted to kill myself right about that did you talk to the guys again no <laughs> that kind of ruined it for you <laughs> yeah they like they kind of just avoided us after that because yeah. my dad's like really like big and scary right yeah really you know you've met him that was awkward too <laughs> uh, so once upon a time my grandma gets invited to her friend's house She has a pool, so she's gonna go over there and swim, and they're gonna have a nice little summer afternoon together. She drives over to her house, she parts her car, she walks in the back gate. I'm assuming she knocks on the door at some point, or like texts her friend, or something like that. She sees her friend's grandkids' shoes on the ground, so she's like, okay, they're here. She sits down and she waits for her friend to come out. Well, after a while, her friend doesn't come out, so she's she's sitting in her friend's backyard, like by her pool, ready to get in the pool, and her friend still doesn't come out, so she's like, it's a Okay, maybe she's doing things. Maybe she's like busy fixing lunch for the kids or something. Like, I'll just wait for her to come out. So my grandma goes ahead and gets in the pool. She like takes off her cover up and is like doing laps in this lady's pool. And after a while, her friend still doesn't come out. So she's starting to think like, if you didn't want me to come over, then you shouldn't have invited me. Like, this yeah. is this is kind of rude of you for me to come to your house and then you like not even come out to say hi to me. So after a while, she decides to leave. She gets up out of the pool, dries herself off, and being my grandma, she always has food in her purse, so she leaves her friend like two oranges on her table and then takes off in her car. So then later, my grandma calls my mom and is like, you'll never guess what happened. My friend never even came outside. I was swimming in her pool for a good like 45 minutes and she never even greeted me. Don't you think that's kind of rude or kind of weird? And my mom was like, well, are you sure you were at the right house? And my grandma was like, yeah, I saw her kid's shoes on the ground. And my mom was like, but that could have been anyone's shoes. <laughs> and so my mom ended up calling my grandma's friend at some point. My grandma's friend said that my grandma never came over. My grandma went to a random person's house, <laughs> swam in their pool, and then left them fruit on the table. Oh, <laughs> so man. thank you guys for watching. I'm going to link the previous car story time videos down below in case you're interested. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos of mine. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye! Bye. They also like to make up names for my boyfriends if they can't say it. So like I dated a guy named Cameron. They call them shrimp in Spanish. Oh. Yeah. If this video gets to 25,000 likes, I will shave my head. So thank you.
completely respect you. Do you even have an Instagram? My Finsta, Hunter underscore on underscore acting. You want a bunch of random people to follow your Finsta? Yes, please. I need the followers. If this video gets 25 likes, I will, um, I, I will impregnate something. If you want to know everything Dr. crazy Ruiz. happened in Cyprus, follow my, uh, my Cyprus news channel. <laughs> what the? What the? What the? What the? Okay, I'm gonna film an outro. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> I have a little left. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>